Hey guys, um, today I'll be showing you how to make a duct tape bow. First, I want to show you the new duct tape that I got and the cool design that I got with my um, exacto knife that I put in with mine. Um, it's just a regular checkered board um, duct tape. I got it at my grocery store for four dollars, actually. But yeah, and this is what I did with duct tape. This is the Batman logo, and I just printed it and then cut it out with my exacto knife. I'll be having that video up today, probably of having to do that. But I'll be making uh, making a duct tape bow just like this with a bobby pin in the back. These are the supplies that you will need. You will need a bobby pin, duct tape, you can have one or two, two rolls of duct tape, like a different color of duct tape, and you will need an exacto knife, and maybe some scissors. And remember, you have to have the bobby pin or an alligator clip that goes like this. It's just a regular clip. So let's get started. First thing that you need to do is let me get my duct tape back. Um, start. You need two three-inch pieces of duct tape. So just get a six-inch piece of duct tape and cut it in half. It doesn't have to line up really. And I, uh, oops, I got taught this new technique to cut, cut straighter. Put your hand right here, and then your finger goes down, and it cuts really straight. And then a three inch mark, so cut the six inch strip that you got in half. So that's three inches. So it looks like so. Let me flip this up. Sorry. Um, get it? And this is the two pieces that you'll have after you're done. And then just make a duct tape fabric. And just lay it on top of each other. And if there is any sticky part like me, I don't do good laying it down. Pink way. Yeah, let me fix the light. That's better. Okay, and then you just that's why I like this one because you know, that's not you have to go and you might not get it right. Okay, so what you need to do with this is this sides don't have to be straight because you might cut them. Okay, so what you need to do is whatever side that you want to be your front, fold in half like so, so that it looks like you have this. Then, fold this in half, like this. And you're not going to be keeping it here. And just make sure to press down so there's a crease that you can see. Just keep pressing down. And then when you open it, there's a crease right there, and there's a crease right here. Now, what you need to do is, when you fold it in half one more time, Bring this piece over, like so, like it looks right now, and then this piece over, so that it looks like so. And we're not done yet. See, we can just go like this, and put them in apart, and then set this piece over to the side. We are going to do the middle now. You don't need that long of a piece. I'm not cutting it that long. You don't even need a inch. An inch is probably about what you need. Cut one inch of duct tape. It doesn't have to be exactly one inch. It could be more or less than one inch. So it looks like so. And then cut just like a tiny part. Actually, if you want to do this so it covers up the bobby pin, I'm sorry, I forgot I did it the other way. Just cut like 
I'm just going to cut this much, and if I have a little left over, that's about two and one fourth inch. And then just cut about one fourth of the duct tape at the bottom. And then it doesn't have to be straight, really, when you have a piece like so. And now I'm going to save these pieces, put them on my desk. You don't need them right now. But these are, see, now you have a piece like this. This is your duct tape fabric that you had. And as you see, it looks like this, so. And just make sure it's in the middle. Like, right here. Seems like it's in the middle. So I'm just going to lay it right here. Lay your one fourth inch piece right there. And then go up. You're probably going to think, where is the bobby pin going? I'll show you. And then just go up behind and go down. If you have too long of a piece, then just keep going over and make sure it's, it's kind of loose in the back so the bobby pin can fit in there. Let me get it even. And then it looks like this. We are not done. What you got to do. Let me see something. Okay, now, what you have to do is get this piece and then just stretch it, right, like that. So you have a side that looks like this. And then get this piece and stretch it like that, too. So, this piece is a little bit longer. See, this is how I do it. I tape my fingers, and in the middle of it right here, I just press down. So there's a little bit of a crease right there, and as you can see, this one is a little bit longer when you stretch it out. And you have to have it stretched out so it looks like this. But yeah, okay, now what you want to do is you see how this one's curved right there? If it's longer, longer, but if it's straighter, then you don't have to do that. What you do is go like this. You cut how much you need off and then curve. Curve it in like so. Whoops, I hit the computer. Um, let me make sure it looks straight. And it looks like it needs about a little bit more. See, three inches is what you need to do it. So, if you have to cut it, just cut a little bit. So now, let me get it. Hold on. One second, just gotta cut a little bit of this off. This part, if you want to do it, you can do it, but I like making the sides look curved. Okay, and then just at the end, just go like this, so that you got this. And all you have to do is just stretch the duct tape. It's like you're stretching it, basically. Stretch. And then, it's just like so. So now you have a beautiful bow, and, oops, get your bobby pin, stretch it apart just a little bit, go like this, and hold it where these two are apart. Now get the duct tape, put it in the back, and then there'll probably be a little bit of a crease right there, so just stick it in the duct tape that's in the back, and then... You put it in the middle, and make sure you cannot see it. Like, if I had it like this, it would look really bad because this is showing right here, the bobby pin. Right there. So you don't want it to be like that. You just want to make it even with both sides. And then, just go like this, and stretch it out one more time. Stretch it out one more time. And then do the finger thing that I taught you. And now you have a very pretty bow. And this is Chevron print, by the way. And let me stick it in my hair. And you have the bobby pin in the back. See? And then just 
bada bing. And that. Oops. So it looks like this. And it's really pretty. And if you want to, I'm not going to do any in this video. You can put like the non-stick stuff that you put in the shelf to make um, stuff like not stick to it. <coughs> but yeah. So you've got a really pretty bow. And sorry that this video is going to be like 11 minutes long. But um, I'm just a perfectionist so I don't have to perfect, perfect everything. I get that from my mother. Um, but I'll probably be having probably be having a video not on how to do the Batman logo, just on how to do like a logo. It might be the Batman, I'm not for sure. But like a logo of something, maybe or school or something like that. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thanks and bye.